Hi students, this is your Jamsi ma'am. In this video, I am going to explain one more periodic property that is electronegativity. Okay, here electronegativity is nothing but a qualitative measure of the ability of an atom in a chemical compound to attract shared electrons to itself is called electronegativity. Okay, so here observe here, it is chemical compound he is mentioning. In previous or topics for example ionization energy or electron gain enthalpy in that we have taken isolated atom right isolated neutral gaseous atom but in this this property will be explained in chemical compound generally how compounds will be formed by forming the chemical bonds between the atoms or among the atoms chemical compounds will form right so here we are not using isolated neutral gaseous atom here we are using one chemical compound to explain this concept okay so for example here one molecule is there okay which chemical formula is for example consider a b okay in this a has contributed one electron and b also contributed one electron and both together they have formed one single bond here two electrons are there, right? On these two electrons, nuclear charge of both atoms is present. Okay, now in these two atoms, which is attracting these electrons more effectively, that atom is having more electronegativity. Which is attracting with less attractive force, that is having the less electronegativity. Okay, finally here, electronegativity is nothing but it is ability of an atom to attract the shared pair of electrons to itself. Okay, that is electronegativity. See here, I have mentioned two more examples. Here, for example, same atoms. In the case of this condition, in first condition, if you observe, in this, A is attracting the, these two shared pair electrons towards its direction. So, in this condition, A is having more electronegativity compared to B. Here, B is having less electronegativity because it is having less ability to attract the shared pair of electrons. Right? Similarly, second condition, if you observe, in this, B is attracting the shared pair of electrons towards itself, its direction. Okay, so here B is having more electronegativity and A is having less electronegativity because it is having less ability compared to B to attract the shared pair of electrons. Okay, this is electronegativity and here electronegativity is having no units. In previous video we have seen, uh, for example, ionization energy, it is having units. Why? Because their uh, measurement is one quantity. So, how much energy required to remove an electron? So, their one quantitative measure that is related to enthalpy or energy. So, their units are there. But here you observe, it is a qualitative measure. So, that's why electronegativity has uh, no units. I hope you understood what is meant by electronegativity and here electronegativity is generally more in non-metals okay electronegativity is more in non-metals because here non-metals what is its nature gaining of electrons nature okay so it is having gaining of electrons nature automatically there is a more possibility to attract the shared pair of electrons so generally electronegativity will be more in non-metals and less in metals so in this it is more and in metals electronegativity is less okay i hope you have understood about the electronegativity thank you